Hi guys, welcome back to Estella Plans. I got a lot to show you today, but I want to kind of do a flip through of my planner and where we are right now before we get started. This video is going to be my first actual weekly that I've done, so I'm excited about it. But this is my planner cover. I got it off of Etsy. The shop is no longer available. On the top, I have all my little planner keychains that I made. They're keychains and I basically put lobster clasps on them and put them on my planner because I just, I love all the danglies. Like this is me a thousand percent. So I have that. And then let's try to zoom out just a little. And then I opened it up. I had to decorate this a little bit more. It was looking way too plain for me. And so I added Mickey and Minnie and all the really cool things because that's what brings me joy. So I'm liking how this page looks. Then on this page, I have some more Mickey and Minnie. I have Snow White down here. This was a postcard that Disney sent me. And so I just kind of decorated it like, um, cover to my address and added that in this is a page that i made that i really really love when the happy planner had that new planner with all of the discs it came out when this book came out they had a planner like this i didn't need a planner and this got me over my fomo of missing out or the fear of missing out um, because i didn't buy it and then this is my 2024 bucket list love how this turned out my declutter list. I'm not sure if, I think I did a video of this, so this might be on the channel already. And again, this right here is inspired by FOMO as well, the fear of missing out. The Bridgerton came out and honestly, I did not need another planner. So to me, I needed something that reminded me of Bridgerton. And this whole look right here reminds me of the Bridgerton vibes. I don't know if it's the flowers or what, but it says today is your day. So I added that in there. And then my sticky notes. This is um, Orangeburg. You guys know I love Florida. So I got that in there. These came from Donna Power by Creativity. Their daily to-do list or habit trackers, however you want to use it. Um, and so I put these in there, especially because they got Disney. So if I'm trying to do something, I'm going to use this. I set this up on my channel. It's my photo picture insert and I changed it up I love the pink vibes here's the folder that I made it's a DIY this is on the channel as well and then over here I have my word of the year page embrace and then anytime I feel like I'm relying on the word embrace to push me through I'll write down that so that's that let's skip over that that's a bill page this is a insert that I made that have flowers. It's made from a folder and it's also really, really cute. Not quite Bridgerton, but a really cute flower. This is a monthly planner that I got from Dollar Tree. And I can't put all the months in my planner because I have four planners in there, but I like to plan ahead. And so I literally cut down this $1.25 planner from Dollar Tree and I added that in my planner. So therefore I can plan ahead. So here's January. Oh, I turned the page. Now these pages are really, really thin. There's January and you know, February. So all the months are in here up to December. So I can just plan ahead and have a monthly to look at. And I just so happen to do it with a dollar 25 planner. Okay. This is the other side of the Bridgerton bag or the bag that I'm saying inspired Bridgerton. Um, and I added this in here cause it's really cute. And then my birthday list, all of my family and friends birthday that I need to remember. I really like having everything on one page. So January, I have a lot of birthdays. We're still celebrating them. A lot of them are at the end of the month. February a lot, March not so many, April. So if you wanna buy cards or whatever, you know that January and February are a heavy month for cards. March and April, not so much. June, not so much for us. But this is how my birthday list is looking so far. My monthly at a glance, organize, prepare for tax day, plan my year out. 
some dates that are important to me. National Sticker Day, Winnie the Pooh Day, Puzzle Day, and Hot Chocolate Day. I just feel like those are fun holidays that I might want to know. Here is the divider for this. It says New Year Fresh Start and that is so very true. I'm still debating if I love this divider or not. Like if I want to leave it like this or not. We'll have to see if I'm going to end up changing this out. But I do like that it says New Year, New Start. And the greens are not bad. So there is the January monthly. And currently I just have some requests off on there. And Winnie the Pooh Day and Chicago Fire come on. Okay, this first um, week right here is a reuse bread. I decorated the spread and I never got a chance to use it. So I pulled it in for the first week because December and the beginning of January are difficult. And it took me a while to set up my planner. So I redated the dates on the top. This said 2020, if you, this actual sticker kit. So I put this to be 2024, cause that's the year we are. And we also had to redo this and put 2024 there. But you can see, I still used it. I used four days out of the seven. Um, I also wanted to mention that on each of my bookmarks, I basically put a hole. I'm gonna show you them on the top of the bookmark where I can attach the lobster clabs in case you are like me and like all the dangly danglies. That is what I did to get more dangly danglies in my planner. But those holes will be there forever. Um, and so this one, explore. I did um like strategically put where I want the holes is. This one had a bigger lobster class, so I put a bigger hole, but that one came from Walgreens in Florida. And then you can see this one. I think that came from Florida as well. I have a whole bunch. I have this one from the Happy Planner. I didn't punch that. I didn't punch the fitness one, but I did punch this next one over here. This one is from the Happy Planner as a Disney one. It just depends on where they feel. I kind of wanted them to stagger. And then the last one that I punched is this one. Real magic happens when you are positively you. And this one I got from my chef manager. Or, yeah. So today we are going to be doing the 8th through the 14th. And guess what it is? It is National Sticker Day. So we are going to have so much fun celebrating national sticker day let me know if you if you did a spread for national sticker day so i'm going to be using this book it's my favorite book it's it has all these happy planner discs and i think that's why it's one of my favorites so i'm going to be using this i'm going to be using this agenda 52 boxes that i got on clearance for 224 i feel like it's a great time to use um different things that you have in your stash especially since it isn't a it isn't a kit, so you can use whatever. I'm also going to be using the Super Sticker Club because I love stickers by the Happy Planner says I love stickers. And then I pull some other things. This is from the Dollar Tree. So I'm not sure if the colors match exactly, but I did pull this pink set from the Dollar Tree. Um, I don't know where this is from, but I like that it says celebration and we are celebrating stickers. And then these I got from Timu and I thought I would pull these in as well. So that is what we're going to do. I did pull this washi and this one just has like, I don't know, craft supplies, planning, um, disc, everything, planners, not really stickers, but I don't know. This is what I pulled to go with it. So we are going to try to get started and I want this to be my focus, this book. So that is what we're gonna do first. Figure out what we want to use. Super stickers. Put washi around the whole page. I liked how that looked on my last spread. So I think I want to do that. No. Do I want to do that? Let me see. Oop, that just ripped. Not good. Really? How much does washi cost? 
and it keeps ripping. Okay, let's try to do this. Yeah. I don't even know. I guess we'll use Disney one. I think I want to put like disc up the center. So let's see if we can do that. So if I'm like, Okay, I feel like that's cute. Now, I'm gonna need some boxes. I do like these. So they kind of match, but this one. one down the side.
I want to apologize for the washer and dryer noise in the background. So if you hear it, I'm sorry. I'm double doing things. Got to get house stuff done and wanted to get this plan with me done as well. You guys, you know, the funny thing is, many moons ago, I used to hate white space on my planner. Over the years, my planner style has changed so much. There was when I was a newbie and I would write like a whole lot down and I just didn't know what I was doing. There was the times that I love planner kits and I still like planner kits. Last year, I used a lot of planner kits and I felt like it gave me... um I guess some kind of sense of peace because I knew what I was going to use and that I knew that that filled most of the page up. And then there was the times that I like, you know, all the page covered. And then there's times that I like to just be creative and don't use planner kits like this spread. Able to use my stash, use different things, kind of like mod podge everything together to create a beautiful spread. So I'm really liking how this is looking. I love stickers and this sticker book is so good. You're going to see that I eventually buy the bigger I love sticker books. I actually ordered it. Happy Planner had it on sale. So I do got a haul video coming up soon. I'm not sure if I'm going to. Yeah, I probably will put it on this channel. But yeah, I got a haul video soon because I did buy the larger one. Because every year when sticker day come, I'm pulling for these stickers. So I really wanted to pull in these Dollar Tree stickers. I had them a while. They were in my stash and I wanted to use them. So I'm glad I was able to use a few of them. I use the hearts, the flowers, a little coffee cup, a banner, so a birthday sign. So I was able to pull a few of them, which made me happy and I felt like it went with the spread. The only thing I wasn't able to use is my Timu letters. That didn't really end up being useful in this spread but everything i pulled besides that i end up using so i was proud of myself in that regard So next, you're going to see me pulling for the planner desk stickers. I'm going to put them on two sides on the end, and then you'll see by the side, by the sidebar. But I don't know who don't love planner desk. Something about them, they're so colorful, and they are an accessory that I look forward to changing out on my planner now. It does take a little bit more time to move all your pages over, but I am so loving the planner desk. I probably have at least two containers full of planner desk. I like plastic and metal. No biggie to me. I think I really like how that looks. Let's see if we can cut it. And you know I'm terrible at cutting. But we will be using a cutter. Come on, stick together, baby. Cut together, that's fine. Let's use this and make sure all the stickers are down and
like the last hole is covered. Okay, let's see how it looks in our planner. Oh my God. I'm really liking that. Let's take this out so you can see it. I know I have January birthdays, so let's put those in. Uh, any on two on January 11th. So we got Jerry and Trey. So we got. I really like how this looked so I hope you enjoyed this plan with me and I will see you in the next one bye